Okay, so moving on, the last video we put on part D, you guys can see. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the rat lines and it looks like a piece of rigging. So we're going to need 39, 38, and 137. So, 137, 138, 139. There. <laughs> She's so big, we gotta start, uh, we gotta move her because we're hitting her. All right, that should be a little bit better. All right, so first let's clean out the rat lines. All right, so we got the rat line. So let's see, on the port side, it's 139. So which one is this one? This is 138. And this is 139. So it's going to go right into this slot right here. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to put a piece of tape on the back mast, just to be safe. Can't hurt. Just to keep it in anchored. All right, let's try that again. I'm gonna put this on. And this is gonna go up and just like that. Okay, so what's next? We'll do the rigging. That's we'll one thirty the middle or the top. this side and let's see is there a slot in there yep there's a slot so let me put it in I don't know if you guys can see that going right in over there that's better all right so now we need to turn it around and we're going to do the starboard side rat line. You know, guys, I was wondering, am I the only person? I probably am, but it's just the way my mind thinks. Am I the only person that's thinking about how amazing the machine must be to cut this out? Think about it. That you got these sheets of cardboard. They go through rollers for a printer. They get printed. And then these huge blades come down and they cut out the entire sheet at once. But they, they don't pull out all the pieces in order to keep it sturdy for shipping. Um, I, I guess I, I, fa I fixate on weird things, but I would love to see that, uh, that machine. Anyway, we're going to do the same thing. I want to... Okay, so we got all that in. We got the rigging. And let's see, we had done that already. So it looks like we're ready to move on. And it looks like we're gonna put the center mast on. And we have rat lines that are gonna go on both sides of that. We actually have more of the rigging. So let's finish off the rigging in the front. And then we got to put two sails in the front of the ship. So you guys remember we had done these. So what I'll do is we'll turn the ship around and we'll do the, um, the starboard side. So there was two on that side. So this side will have 223 and looks like 220, 233 and 235. Just like that, and it's gonna go up into the top. Just like that. There. Now, 235 is gonna go behind it in this part. And 
and it's going to go right up in this one. Just like that. Fix the camera, the camera keeps on going down. All right, so the rigging is on the front of the ship. So what we're gonna do now is, let's see, there were these two pieces that are gonna go on the front. So let's start with the inner one. And the inner workings would be 245 and 242. So let's get 245 and see what's going to hold the sail on. And the sail is going to be 158. Alright, now they all have the little tabs that need to come out. We also have tabs on the rigging part. So it's these. So now we're ready to put it onto the mast. And let's see. This section is going to go to the top. So, all right, so when it's on, the angle is going to be facing towards the top of the ship. So let's try this again. This is going to go in right over here. And the tab is going to go. Just like that. There. Check that out. So now we're going to do the outer one, and that's going to be composed of 236, 237, and 156. So we got 236 right here. Here's 156, a little bit longer. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool looking. Okay, so it's gonna go this way. So it's gonna go just like this. pretty wild and this one is going to go up on top just like that and the tab is going to come down and it's going to go right into the tip of the bow That looks so awesome. What do you guys think? All right. So that's all set. So we got the rigging and we have the sails in the front. And it's showing us the stickers. We had already done that. We did that in the last video, actually. Actually, I'm gonna have to fix that bow a little bit. So that's done. We got the rat lines in. We did the, we did that. Okay, that's all set. So now we're ready to put in section E which is the center. I think this is going to be a good idea also where I think I want to put um, put some tape just to keep it in, in uh, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so I got a little bit of tape in there. Okay, so let's get the rat line and we're going to have one 
96. Okay, so this is going to go into the deck over here. So it's going to go just like that. And it looks like we're going to do the other side. All right. So that is the completion of this side. Just want to make sure. Oh, we got one more piece in the back. 136. There it is. 136. You've got to make sure you study the instructions to make sure that you get everything. Because it's easy to. If you're not paying attention, it's easy to mistake stuff. All right, so this one is going to go. On the other side, like we did, the other tab. So there's a tab in the back, in the back deck near the wheel. And this one is going to go up. Just like that, so. Right in the back over there. All right, now I think we're ready to move on. Okay, so what we're going to do, it looks like we have some sails that are going to be attaching the main mast with the rear mast. And that's going to be 147, 148, and, we and have 147, 148. This one only has two tabs. Okay, so let's get the sail on. two tabs and it's going to go this way all right so that's how it's going to go how do they want it okay so we have two more actually we got the 231 so let's put 231 in the back the rigging Looks like it's going to be one of the longer parts attached to the back, like so. Just like that. All right. I'll take you down off the uh, off the tripod in a second to show you guys what we've been doing because it's tough to get it all into the shot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the, the another sail. And that's 241, 240, and 157. And I just seen that one. All right, here's 157. All right, so it's going to go like this. And it's going to go into the middle tier. over there and there's going to be a tab in the back of the front mast I'm going to go just like that <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Let me just uh, give you guys a peek. All right. And I will take you down and give you a little tour of the update as soon as we put this one on. And this is going to be 
238 and 239. And there's a tab in the back of the main of the front mast or the fore mast. And you can see this is going to go up on top just like that. And there is, okay, there it is. Okay, you can see the rigging that we did to the mast. Runs up the front of the ship, high up on top. We did the rigging, we did the rat lines. Rat lines all the way up the main mast. We did more of the rigging up into the rear mast. We got all those sails billowing as she comes up out of the water. The mouths open up. Too bad there are no cannons coming out those mouths. But nice. <laughs> Isn't this awesome, guys? I love her. All right, let's put you back up on the tripod for, for now. Okay, so the sails are all on. And we had already done the other side of all the stickers. We did that in the last video. So we're actually gonna put the anchor on. And the anchor has a couple of pieces. 144, two 145s and 146. Pull the anchor off. Just like that. Okay, now where is it gonna go? I think it's gonna go right there. Okay. Into this side. Just like that. You can see the anchor is in. This is the starboard side anchor. Now, is that everything that we got to do on this side of the ship. All right, on to the next step. All right, so we gotta do the port side. So we're gonna do the port side anchor. So let's turn her around. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Anchor. Again, this is 144, 145, and 146. You know, the, the quality of this ship, it makes me think of, um, now I showed you guys the Black Pearl, and what that is, it's a, it's a wooden ship model that you build from the inside out with the same thing with the bulkheads. And this model is like the perfect example of that. So if you want to plan to build a wood model of a ship, because they're very expensive, and you want to get a little bit of practice for the on what makes it go together in some of the interior um, sections, it might not be a bad idea to get a paper model like this because it's so um, close. The only exception is that this is cardboard and the other is wood. It's really the only um, the only difference. So we got that last piece that's going to go on the tab, just like that. And let's see. Let me try to hold her in place, and the anchor goes on just like that. You guys can see the anchor. I hope. And again, she deserves, she's going to get all kinds of shots for you guys because she's just amazing. Okay, we have, what do we got next? We have the rat line. And then it's going to go in just like that. Just Wow. 
I think these are the last two pieces of the ship. We've got 230 and 228. So let's do the front one first. The shorter one will go on first. Where's that going to go? Looks like it's going to go right here. Just like that. All right, where's the other one going to go? Okay, so the other one is going to go up top. Looks like, right? There. And let's see, into that. Just like that. There. What's what's next? We got two there. Two there. Hmm. All right. I think there's an issue because I got one more piece of rigging. Uh, we got piece 248. So where is that going to go? You guys can see 248 is and we've got 229. All right, so All right, I think I see where the where that's going to go. All right, so that's going to go on the other side of the ship. And 248. And that uh, just about uses up all the pieces. Yep. All right, so let's turn her around. <laughs> she's, my God, she's gorgeous. Okay. All right, so we had this one that's going to hook up like this. And it's going to go all the way up to the top. All right, so that one is in. Okay. And we have one left. So we got those are both taken care of. We got both sides on this. We've got two in the forward. Oh, okay. I see where it goes. It goes right in the middle below the sail. Okay. So, and it's going to go right into the back over here. Yeah. Okay, now, that's everything. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up the base. Nope. All right, so those are going to... Okay, so where is the switch? All right, guys, you know what we're going to do? Let me take you down. I'm going to clean up everything. And then we're going to do, um, I'm going to film her in a spot to show you the lights where there's a little bit more room.
Okay, so we got a little bit more room to show you. <laughs> She's beautiful. You can see but down by the rudder. Those wonderful lanterns coming around. We got the rat lines, the sails, we got the cannons, we got the anchors, we got that beautiful bow. Those wonderful sails. All that rigging. Just gorgeous. All right, so what we've all been waiting for, let's light her up. All right, she's all lit up now. Remember the switch is behind the back of the base. You can see her decks, that creepy glow below hatch, uh, the cargo hatch, below the cargo hatch. Wondering what's down there. Back to the wheel. You go to that back of the ship. I love those, um, the handrails. Down to the rudder. We get the, the ghoul faces. The anchor into the bow again. So I'll turn her around and we'll show you guys the starboard side. All the way up to the top. She's just, I think she's gorgeous guys. A wood model of this would be amazing because it'd be a little more durable the last through the years. Again, we look into the cargo hatches. To the back of the ship. As she comes up from the water, Oh, my friends, don't look now, but this is the conclusion. This was my Halloween build, and I hope you guys had as much fun watching me build it as I did actually building it, because this is really fun. This, this kind of kit makes you feel like a little kid again. Oh, my friends, I hope you enjoyed it, and happy Halloween to you out there. And I will be doing a video featuring her as a finished model. So, But this concludes the build video. Thank you so much for watching, and happy Halloween.